Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from LearnAutomation.com. This video is mainly focusing on how to verify error messages in Selenium WebDriver. So we have a very meaningful message, uh, sorry, method in Selenium that called get text. As the name itself says, get text will capture the text and it will return the text in a string format. And we have one more method called get attribute which will capture the inner HTML and it will return the inner text as well. So let me show you one example. What do you mean by verifying error message? Let's say if you are opening gmail.com and if you click on next button without entering any details, if you enter, uh, if you click on next button, it will throw this error message. Now you need to verify this error message. So to capture this error message, we have to identify this element using fire bug and fire path. Right? So this is the X path for this. Then we'll see the get text. So get text will capture this text, which is displaying on this page, and it will return as a string. Then we will verify using assert. So if you have not visited previous assert videos, then please refer the uh, videos for assertion, hard assert and soft assert. So this is one way and reliable one. Another method is we can capture this inner text from the DOM is itself. So right now this get text will simply take the text which is displayed on the page. But inner HTML will capture the complete text which is displayed here. Okay. So uh, I have a dummy code ready here what this code does it simply open chrome browser so if you are not sure how to start chrome browser please refer my previous tutorials where i have uh, discussed how to start this chrome browser from where to download this exe file and all this will maximize this will open the gmail.com and without filling any details i am simply clicking on next button so you can see without filling any detail if i click on click uh, next button I will get that error message. So I'm giving two seconds wait. Now uh, let's capture the text from this. So I will say driver dot find element by x path dot get text. So you can see for th from this elements it will capture the text and it will return me a string and I will say actual error. So this is the actual error we should have the expected as well. So let's say I have expected error. this right please enter your email and you notice here we have one uh, dot as well so it will capture everything and it will match the dot as well even if one dot is uh, missing it will fail your test so I will do this assert and I will press control space together I will get this suggestion list and I will select assert from test ng then I will say assert equals and I will give actual versus expected. If it will match, it will continue. Sorry, if it is match, then your test pass. Otherwise, it will fail your test. So this is one way and another way we will see using get attribute. So this particular case will match the exact error messages. Now if you want to use another way that we discussed in the last video, you can say assert true and I will say if actual error dot contains this text then my test pass. So in this case I will not give the dot operator because dot may be uh, optional 
this is type 1 using this way you can verify the exact but if you want to match the partial you can do in this way from the actual error message it will check if it contains this particular keyword my test pass okay so let's run this So Chrome is faster than your Firefox. So in this example, I'm using Chrome. It will click next, wait two seconds and it will capture. And you can see it is passing my test because we are not giving anything here, right? Like test pass. So let's say if you want to give any message or else you want to print the actual message so it will uh, give you one message like test completed Okay, so you can see test completed because these assertions are completed so this is one way and uh, another way using get attribute and this is interview question as well like do we have any other way to verify error message um, to capture the error message without using get text method sorry we need to copy this one and we need to paste here verify error message to and this time I will convert this program into test ng so I will say my test and here in spite of using this get text approach what I will say I will say dot get attribute now it will ask you which attribute you want so I will say inner HTML now this will be same for you as well inner HTML means it will give you this inner details so find that element give me the inner HTML it will return you that message and remaining process will be same Okay, so let me fail this. If I say actual error should contain this, definitely it will not contain, so it will fail my test. So let's run this. Okay, now if you go back you will see the test has been failed and if you check assertion error expected was please enter your email okay there's one space so it is failing for this as well so expected is this and actual is this actual we have this as well one more space okay so in this case either you can uh, expect it given more space or else you can use the second way now it should work actually one more space is coming while capturing the text uh, from the dome structure so now we have modified and let's see okay so now you can see now it is failing at this point now if you see and uh, the 
it says assertion error expected was true but found false and if you want to check you can see it is throwing at line number 37 that is this actual error does not contain this so it is failing my test like this you can start exploring this and it's very easy topic and this is another way to capture the text messages or error messages this, uh, this is also useful when you have to capture some inner text from the button let's say you want to ca uh, capture the text from a button or any text from the field, field itself then you can use this get attribute I hope you enjoyed this video so if you have any doubt just drop me an email and in case you like this video please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comment then let me know uh, thank you bye bye